welcome to At Issue and Brief. I'm H. Wayne Wilson at the National Weather Service in Lincoln, Illinois. When wind farms were first proposed, there was a lot of discussion about the impact it would have on the environment and the migration of birds. But one issue that wasn't discussed at length was the impact it would have on predicting the weather. And that's particularly true for this weather service because of the wind farm that's located at the border of Logan and Tazewell counties. We had theorized that there would be some uh, reflections from the, from the uh, wind turbines because they were so close to the radar. And uh, when they actually started an operation, then that's when we saw the, the scope of the situation. The black circle here is where we are in Lincoln, where the radar is. But off to the northwest, about anywhere from 8 to 16 miles uh, out, we see these very, what we call high reflectivity areas. You've got lots of yellows and reds in, in small areas. And when I zoom in on there, you can really see um, the intensity of those. Uh, that is where uh, we are getting the reflection off the wind farm. The, the radar can cancel out non-moving objects, such as trees or buildings or things that are in the area. Uh, when you've got a moving object, though, uh, the radar cannot cancel that out. We are working with our radar operations center in Oklahoma and the University of Oklahoma to try to create some uh, software fix for our radar that can try to cancel out moving objects. And that's a very difficult problem because we have to know everything about the object that's moving and exactly how fast it's moving at all times to be able to cancel that out. Keep watching for other in brief discussions on how wind farms affect weather radar. For At Issue in Brief, I'm H. Wayne Wilson in Lincoln.